So instead, I'm just gonna sit in users of the internet and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're one of my current 720 subscribers, then welcome back. And if you're not, same. Currently, it is a Sunday night. It's the end of a weekend. We're about to delve into a busy week. And you know what I like to do to really wind down? It's just focus on a little self-care. For me, that usually entails like taking a shower. But today, I thought I'd really feel myself and adopt some beauty tips and tricks to feel like the best version of myself I can be. So I've decided to Google a bunch of self-care tips, film myself doing them, and then put it on the internet. So let's get into it. The first self-care beauty tip is to attempt a new hairstyle. When it comes to my hair normally, I'm very lazy and that I just wake up and walk out the door and see what happens and then wash it two weeks later. It's a vigorous cycle, I work really hard. But you know, better late than never, we can try something to um, spice it up a bit. Maybe I'll find the new me. So as any hair care specialist will know, the number one tool for molding your follicles is um, a brush. This brush I personally bought for $3 and I don't want to waste that hard-earned coin, so we're going to whip that out today and put its styling skills to the test. Ow. Okay, so let's brush out what's happening here. Ow. This is a lot. I'm feeling a lot. So therapeutic. So great. Oh my god. May as well do the other side. This is painful. I don't know why anyone would do this to unwind and feel refreshed. I'm never brushing my hair again, confirmed. A waste of time, a waste of effort, a waste of hair. Like, oh my God, that's, I'm just gonna chuck it on the ground. Well, this looks disgusting. I'm gonna burn this. Honestly, I hope that caused my brush as much pain as it just caused me. I feel like all I can do with this is just like, put it away. Wow, new hair, new me. So next up on the list is to light a few candles. Luckily, I'm a candle hoarder, obsessed with Bath & Body Works. So I have literally about 20 candles sitting around my room that I've lit once. So why not have a lit party? <laughs> I'm so funny. Hi, I'm back. I'm literally using the torch on my phone to light. Th that's horrifying, but it's October, so <laughs> happy Halloween. <laughs> oh my God, I hate fire. This is a bad idea. Let's just get her lit. Oh my God. Woo, I did it. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this. I feel like everything I own is gonna burst into flames. And also I'm wearing a jumper next to fire, so it's very warm. I am moist, sad, and at risk of burning to death. But you know, do it for the self-care. Okay, next up is to practice inhaling and exhaling. Um, this is just breathing, I don't get it. The next one is to create a food journal. I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to make a journal with food in it. Honestly, I'm not even mad at this one. Okay, update. So this is kind of like a video intermission because I realized it's 10 p.m. and I haven't eaten dinner yet. So I'm just gonna treat this as another part of my self-care. So tonight what's on the menu is random bits of leftover Thai food chucked together in a plastic container with some slices of pizza to top it off. So go me. I love caring for myself. That's the fridge screaming at me not to eat like this. Hi, I'm back. My plan was to take a brief dinner break, but then I ended up sitting downstairs doing nothing for one hour, literally just sitting there contemplating life. But you know, ready to get back into the self-care. So next up on this little love yourself list is compliment your colleagues, friends, and family when they accomplished something. Okay, no offense, not to be conceited, but I'm pretty sure this is self-care, not care for every other person in your life. But it's okay, I'm gonna be humble. I'm gonna send a text to my mom. I really like the way you gave birth to me that one time. Keep up the good work. And then I'll do a Caucasian thumbs up, just to really keep it positive, to keep the encouragement going. Sent. I think she'll really appreciate that. Next, whiten your teeth. Honestly, I bought this thing called a white glow accelerator about a week ago, used it once and was like, wow, this thing doesn't work. So I just put it back on my shelf, but I'm going to rid myself of all judgment and start afresh. So to do this, we get our white glow, white accelerator, blue light technology. 
the gel. And I guess just like give her a squirt into the mouth guard. Ow. This is gross. I love how I'm applying this tooth gel in my bedroom and filming an intro in my bathroom. Hello users of the internet. Wow, I'm so original. Please like and subscribe. But seriously, please like and subscribe. Okay, and then you put it in your mouth and turn the light on for 10 minutes. Oh god. No. So next up, try practicing yoga. So hi, I've got workout clothes on, although I am going to be wearing this jacket, which also happens to be a Gryffindor robe dressing gown because it's late at night and I'm cold, so deal with that. I've also looked up a Vlogilates yoga routine, so let's do that to really get in touch with our self-care. Take a breath in, reach your thumbs way up to the sky, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, hands to your heart, pull forward. This is called our forward pull. Now let's step back into plank position. Oh my god, oh my god. Knees, release them to the ground and then release your toes. Take a big inhale through your nose, curl the toes, and then exhale, downward dog. This is only a downward dog, are you kidding? Oh my god, my foot's up. Oh my god. You know what, I'm done. Nothing's worth this. Great. Next up on the self-care list is to take a bubble bath. I'm pretty sure I have a bath in my bathroom downstairs, but saying that I never leave my room, so I just don't know. So instead, I'm just gonna sit on the floor of my shower and it'll be like the same thing and make this a super relaxing spa treatment. Um, okay, so I'm sitting in the shower, hi, and it's soft. My butt is so cold and I feel like I'm drowning. Okay, so I'm out of the shower and I'm ready to tackle the final self-care tip. The final hurdle is to give yourself an at-home facial. Okay, all I want to do is sleep, but like, that's fine. Now we're gonna get on in there with a mostly used Sephora green clay mask that is dry and disgusting and not in focus. Oh, this is so relaxing. This is vigorous exercise. I'm sweating. I look so good. I feel like my best self. And that's it. That's all I have for you. To be completely honest, the only thing I really considered a self-care tip was when I took my hour break for dinner. But you know, that's okay to each their own. My face is stinging, but I'll probably live. If you found any of this helpful in any way, I don't know how, please let me know. But you know, thumbs up, subscribe. And if you think this was the biggest waste of your time you've ever seen, then please just do it anyway. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I'm scaring myself. Also, side note, I forgot this existed and this candle's been burning the entire time and honestly, it smells kind of lit. No pun intended. <laughs>